Okay, we're going to do a quick overview today about Google's new encrypted search. Uh, well, not new, but how they're going to be pushing encrypted search um, into all logged in Google accounts. So previously in the past, when you went to search in Google, you'd go and search and it's, you know, dub 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 google.com. You search and let's say you have a website down here and somebody clicks, you would know, hey, they clicked for pet names. And, you know, that data got sent to your Google Analytics account, and you could see it in a report. Awesome. Now, what's going to happen with the SSL encrypted version of Google is if somebody's logged in, they're going to get redirected to the HTTPS version of Google. And what happens with the HTTPS is that when a user clicks on your website, the, the keyword referral data, that pet names here, is not going to get passed to your Google Analytics. And what they're going to do instead, at least in Google Analytics, is show it as not provided. So what does that mean for you? Well, that means that if you want to know how much traffic you're getting for your keyword pet names, you're still going to be able to see referrals for pet names from people when they're not logged in. So what you'll be able to do is to look in, in Google Analytics and say, okay, how many, what's the total for, for my website here? What's the total number of, of not provided queries that I'm getting? Let's say it's 500. And then you're going to want to look at your total organic traffic. And let's say that that's 2,000 for this period. So it looks like 25% of your users are coming through encrypted search and you're not going to be able to to know what that what the keywords that they're searching to, to find your site are so now we know that 25 percent okay cool so we go back to our pet names here and let, let's say we're getting 10 visitors here 20 visitors here now that we we have at least a general idea of, of for this website the, the percentage of users that are that are logged in we can start to extrapolate a little bit of data so we can take 10 and divide that by the percentage logged in, and that's going to equal 12.5. So round that up to 13, and you can say, okay, well, estimated, we're probably actually getting, you know, 13 visitors. Over here, let's say we're getting 20, 25, okay, we're actually, you know, we're probably getting an extra um, 5 there, so 25. Mark that, and so what you can start to do is is extrapolate some estimated numbers and unfortunately this you know it's it's not a great solution but it's pretty much the best one we've got because we're not going to be getting this data back and eventually Google may 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 start encrypting all of all of these searches and so then we'll have to figure out another way to really get the data on on keyword searches but for now the best way is to take the total number of, of not provided and divide that by the total number of organics and get that percentage and then you can extrapolate out the estimated number for, for each individual keyword. So, you know, obviously we do all this for you at serps.com, so I'd love for you to come and check out our solution. That way you don't have to actually do this stuff um, on your own because it's, it's a lot of calculations you got to do, and um, we think we do it well. So I'd love for you to come check it out. And this is uh, what you need to know about not provided scary stuff.